about like an intro to Ethereum, but I I realized that like n probably everybody here al already knows about Ethereum. Um, so we're gonna play a few uh, like uh, a game uh, meant um, to educate you on Solidity security, and I'm gonna distribute these beanies to everybody that gets like a right answer. So um, yeah, this is me, uh, Gonzalo. And this is um, a presentation built by our, by our colleague, Morillion. So thank you to him for um, building this awesome game. And let's play. Uh, how, how familiar are we with Solidity in the room? Do you guys write code? Have you written code before? Yes. Do you guys want a beanie? You might. Let's go. So name that vulnerability, round one. <laughs> what do you guys see that is wrong with this? What? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of it. Like the transfer, the the problematic line is in transfer. But what can go wrong here? Fails silently. Okay. What, and what exactly fails? So, so let's. Um, if this means anything to you, this is something that was problematic for King of the Ether back then. Yeah, exactly. So the answer is like the DOS would revert, right? So, like, what happens is that if you provide an. Um, uh, the highest speeder is an address that always reverts, right? If it's a smart contract that will have a fallback function that it always reverts, you, you've successfully DOS the game. Nobody else will be able to claim any beats higher than that. So, okay, cool. Um, yeah, one way to um, to mitigate this would be to use a uh, withdraw pet, uh, a pull pattern instead of a push one, so people can take the money out themselves instead of like, you pushing money to someone else. Round two. Ah. No, no, you don't get to answer again. Like, not, you got your beanie. Someone else, come on. Unbounded. Unbounded what? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So the, th the problem is that like you can DOS with the gas limit, right? Like if the, um, the, the array gets too long, then the while loop gets too expensive and the contract will be broken forever until the, contra the, the block gas limit is, um, is increased by the miners, for example, right? But uh, all in all, uh, it's not doable. One thing that you could do to mitigate this would be to uh, use batches in a possible function like this, right? Like you have an argument that you can provide to just like do it incrementally so that you don't hit the gas limit. Alex. Round three. You got this. You got this. Say it. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. What is it? Okay. But it rhymes with Nancy. So Yeah, exactly. So the You're exactly right. Uh that uh line is a problematic one. Uh there's a there's a call that forwards all the gas um and the user balances are being updated afterwards, right? So, um, yeah, this is just like, this is exactly um, a, an example that is very similar to the DAO. Um, yeah, you just like uh, transfer, execute like the, the, the control flow to, an, to another smart contract and you can never know what's happening. So you should use just the, the check effects, interactions patterns, where you actually do all your stuff and use your external calls at the end. So you got it.
round four. Oh, by the way, there are several problems with these contracts. It's not, <laughs> sometimes there are like, there's more than one right answer. So I'll take any, I'll take anything. You guys can show. Yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of problems here. Like this is, this is bad. Um, but yeah, there's a definitely an overflow. There's an underflow. Uh, yeah, and the first one is an underflow. So the the um, the first line, please don't do that. Like like nobody does this. This is just only for illustration purposes. Like that line is terrible. Like that check is not is literally not doing anything. That's uh, an unsigned integer, like bigger or equal than zero. Like that's that's just bad. That's just like a no op. And then the others below do have the problem that if you could underflow the, va the your balance right and just like uh, own uh, a, a huge amount of uh, tokens because of that underflow. Um, yeah, so the, the mitigation for this would be to use proper requires, uh, check for check for the um, for, for balance overflows before you actually update them or use safe math, right? Which is the, which is the, um, I guess the, the thing most people use right now. Round five. Again, several problems, We're aiming for one. This is a little bit more convoluted, but feel free to shoot anything that you think is, okay, yeah, there's overflow problems with that multiplication, not what we're looking for here. That one is done. More, more ideas. This hint is terrible. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this, the answer here was front running. Uh, this is like, this is, this is not obvious. Um, so it has to do with the way transactions are ordered, right? Um, in the gas auction. And the problem here is that um, let's pretend that this is a exactly like a, a token auction or something, right? Like if if um, if the owner sees a transaction, a buy transaction coming in, uh, he could front run the buyer and actually increase the price right before he buys it, right? And he gets more money than he should, or like the buyer gets no token, well, no tokens whatsoever. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I am gonna give a beanie to. Hmm. No, nobody gets a beanie now. Uh, what are some safer approaches? Uh, on in in that specific example, a, a, a possible solution would be uh, permissioned key functions, right? So, uh, only certain uh, type of user can uh, update the price, or the buyer could specify the price. Or you could use a time lock, right? Uh, so it, when the owner changes the price, it actually only gets active, activated in like two days or something, right? So that, that way users are sure that like the prices do not get, that, that, that the rug does not get pulled from under them, right? Um, yeah, next round. Oh, really good, really good, nice, nice one. And there's also another problem, but yeah, that was the main one. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's you, you got it exactly right. Um, but, um, but there's also another thing, right, which is like randomness is hard. Like this is not random at all. <laughs> like uh, people could game this randomness. There's absolutely no, uh, no, n nothing, random about this um, and yeah and like you said uh, blocks only know about uh, the 256 latest blocks uh, on chain right so two problems I mean there's this is a hot topic now I guess but a, a solution would be to use the Rendau there's uh, VDFs and VRFs um, to to have like as proper sources of randomness uh, but yeah, in general, 
um, don't use like a low entropy to to <laughs> to create a randomness. I guess you get another one. You can give it to whoever you want. Round seven. <laughs> Again, <laughs> same same horrendous code. <laughs> Clearly that, right? Because we've looked at the, the code previously. What could go wrong with this? If I say what? Exactly, that's it. You cannot get all of them right. You gotta give someone else a chance. But yeah, that's exactly it. So there's no way to guarantee that the balance uh, of the contract is, uh, is static, right? So you can forcibly send Ether uh, to a smart contract. Um, and that concludes our game today. Uh, I guess you get another beanie. Uh, yeah, just um, for those of you who are hacking, uh, you can check out our best practices, diligence's best practices. Uh, it'll help you write better code, safer code. Um, you can find it on GitHub. Uh, if you can't find it, you just come to me, I'll, I'll point you to it. Please use reusable frameworks, use Open Zeppelin. Uh, that, that makes your code safer too. Uh, maybe Dep Hub, if you feel like hipster enough. Um, do lint your code, please. It, it's, it's effortless. Just use Solheen or something. I don't, I don't care, just do it, lint it. Um, use Mithex. Uh, you should be using Mithex, Mithex.io. If you need, um, we can give you a trial account if you pass by the booth downstairs. Uh, you can talk to us uh, and give you a few analysis for free to run while you're here, I'm sure. Um, and that's it, guys. Now I'm really over. Thank you. <laughs>